Facing Waves is brought to you in part by Newfoundland and Labrador Tourism. With 29,000 kilometers of coastline, you'll find plenty of room to breathe. Welcome back to Facing Waves. This week, we've hooked up with Lincoln Tours in Newfoundland one of the province's premier outfitters and the owner of the Lighthouse Inn on Carpoon Island. The Lighthouse itself is a full-service inn, so you're out on a deserted island, there's nobody around. If, if we didn't feed you, you'd have to rely on the berries. What we do is local cuisine, so in the morning you're eating the berries that we're picking on the island, the jams made from that, the desserts are made from local stuff in the can. You know, the fish is literally caught hundreds of yards away from the lighthouse. A lot of people come out just to hike the island and wander around because it, people think island sometimes they think small but it's about seven kilometers or four miles long. The terrain is very open kind of semi tundra sort of terrain so a lot of berries a lot of moss and things growing on it. In the low hills and valleys you'll see a lot of little ponds some of them are full of fish we have otters swimming around that like to come up and play with the fish in there. We have fox on the island that uh, are kind of semi-tame because they'll come up and play with you. It's not unusual to see guests out picking blueberries and the foxes will come up and join them. We do zodiac tours out of here as well, so if the icebergs or the whales are a little too far off to access with the kayaks, then we just jump in the zodiac and go visit them. And if you're in on land, we have helipad that hangs right out over the cliffs, so people love sitting out there, setting up the chairs. And there's nights sitting out there when the guests are watching as many as 50 humpback whales at a time and, and seeing up to 90 icebergs at a time. If the weather gets a little cool or a little wet, then we have an indoor whale watching station as well. So you just sit inside and relax in some Adirondack chairs and just enjoy watching the whales go by. And, and on nice days when it's cool but calm, then you can sit inside, read your book, and you'll actually hear the whales coming, so you don't even have to look until they arrive. Normally the way things work when you come to Carpoon Island is that you get a boat, a Zodiac, that brings you around pretty much the whole island and takes you into a little bay, a little cove, right by Lighthouse Inn. The wind was blowing so hard, the waves were so big, that that just wasn't an option. So we took a small boat just across the water where we hooked up with a, an ATV that took our gear and ourselves across the island to the Lighthouse Inn. Even though it was foggy and misty, the ride took us up to the top of these hills that gave you great views looking to big, beautiful bays and coves. It teased us for where we were going to be sea kayaking the next day. Finally arriving on Carpoon, powerful winds and swell beat the ocean into a frenzy. Although there are a number of coves that provide shelter from the rough water, I was ready for some action. On the mouth of the bay, there was just enough protection to avoid the full onslaught of the wind, but it was not protected enough so that the swell and the wind waves were prevented from coming in. So we had some awesome rough water. I love paddling in, in that kind of stuff. You get used to recognizing a rhythm and a pattern in what the waves are doing. And there's a couple of sh uh, shallow rocks and, and the shoreline extended out in certain spots so I, I could predict where those waves were going to break and how they were going to break and work in pretty tight spots around them. Uh, with that said, the swell is the X factor. And so you always, always have to be looking ahead, looking for those big random waves or sets that are coming in. Having paddled whitewater for most of my life, I absolutely love paddling in those rough conditions. Waves crashing around you, big swells coming in that you just gotta get over. 
it's uh, it's intimidating conditions for sure and it's one of those places that you want to have a lot of experience before you start playing around in, and you definitely want to have a bomb proof rule in case you get flipped but if you have those things and for me there's nothing more fun than playing in rough water.